Welcome back to another Unturned video. Today I solo went on a pay to win PvP server full of admin abusers, legends and all kinds of ranks you could think of. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 500 likes. Subscribe as well if you haven't already, we are getting very close to 30,000, so let's try to reach that soon. Last video I announced a mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim your prize, please join my discord and contact me there. Today we're going through another one which is an energized ducky life preserver, which was kindly donated by Frosta. To have a chance to win this mythical, make sure that you've liked, subscribe and comment whatever you want below. Channel members also have a higher chance to win, so if someone wishes to become a member, the link will be in the description below. But before I would like to shout out today's sponsor, which is Tides Network. Tides Network brings you a refreshing new roleplaying experience, which is a creative roleplay. They have several commands such as TPA and Warps. Currently the map is Washington, with a custom map currently in development. They plan to release Sunday 12th February, which is today. Tides set itself apart from other roleplay servers through professionalism, organization, and actual serious roleplay. They do have affordable ranks that can be purchased from their store. Official server factions include police, military, and mafia, which host events such as kidnapping, robberies, chases, raids, and much, much more. The server runs on high performance settings such as high RAM and CPU. They also have a professional staff team that will help you with whatever your issues may be just by joining at their Discord and opening a ticket. This network also is very against admin bias with equal player treatment. The server link will be in the description below as well as the IP and port and make sure to check out the servers if you guys do enjoy a good roleplay experience. And let's get straight into the video. Alright, so I just joined this PEI server and I haven't played here for a while but the server is mainly a... A PvP server, there's like some pretty good kits. Yeah, we got ourselves a Peacemaker and the Chainsaw Kit. Now on this server, it is very easy to buy Admin and Legend and all of that. And I'm pretty sure they are allowed to do whatever they want. They could slash I, they could run around using Shift F7, which basically shows everybody's names, which is literally legit wall hacks. Now I do apologize if I sound a bit sick. Mainly it is because I am, I've had a pretty rough week, that's why I haven't uploaded anything. But don't worry, I was still doing other stuff that's gonna come out in the future. So yeah, what we're going to do is I'm probably gonna build a base since I have a chain, so I'm gonna build it close to Stratford and military. I'm not gonna build it at military because I don't think I would survive there for too long, especially since admins usually PvP over there. I'm gonna start chopping down some trees. For now, I'll probably just build a 1x1 one one or a 2x1. I don't want to build anything that big on the server because it would be a huge waste of time. Because as soon as I log out, there's a high chance that I'm literally going to raid it instantly. Let's get ourselves another tree. Now, the server is also a bit high times loot, obviously. So getting guns from zombies is not really that hard. But what I will try to do is that I will not try to loot at all. I will try to get every single weapon, every single item just from PvP. And I hear Cobra shots already. Let's pick up these logs and let's go try to kill him. I also attempted zero deaths challenge, but I don't think that it's going to be very efficient. We're gonna die probably a billion times on this kind of server. Yeah, I hear heartbreaker shots over it. Military. There's a dude right here. Hello. And he is dead. He was just killing zombies and he has a cobra. He had the police vest, so I'll take that. We'll, sick we'll salvage all of these. Alright, before we start going into PvP, which we hear a lot of in the background, we will build a base first. We'll probably build it, like, on this little hill over here. Alright, we got ourselves... We'll make it out of Birch for sure, since it's weaker. Even though it wouldn't really matter. Alright, let's get ourselves four pillars. Two. Three. And we need one more. We'll place that right over there. And we got ourselves three walls as well. Now we need a doorway and the door. Hold on, doorway has been placed as well. Now we need the roof. Now we still need the door, obviously. Which I do have enough metal. So maple strike shots extremely close and base is pretty much done. Now I will salvage these clothes. There are some other kits that we could do. Now there are two kits that are really good, which are kit Scar L and kit Night Trader. They are only 30 minute cooldowns though, so we can't use them all the time. But since we got ourselves a base, I could actually start putting them. I don't want to put them instantly just in case we die and we would lose it. But there we go. We got ourselves a base, ourselves a heartbreaker kit. Now we'll drop everything right over here. We'll only wear some clothes. I'm not gonna even bother to take myself the Ellie spec or any of that with me. We'll put ourselves the scope and now we call BVP. Now we still need to make ourselves some storage. But on the server there's like a 10 minute cooldown for stuff to despawn. Yeah, I see a guy literally right over there. And there's a guy charging toward... Wait, does he not have a gun? Yeah, he's dead. Oh, and he has a lot of metal. Okay. Wait, he has an Ellie spec as well. Let's take all of this metal. If only I had the blowtorch, man. I could make so much lockers in base. Alright, and we are back in base. Now we drop this Elise back. Right, something that we desperately need now is a blowtorch, actually. But well, let's go try to kill somebody. There's a lot of shots over there. Yeah, I see him. He seems solo as well, so we could easily kill him. Yeah, and on the server, every single base that you see is brick. Usually that means that they're an admin base. 
Yeah, I'm out of range, I think. Oh, there's another dude over there. Alright, he's dead. He seemed geared. Let's go check out his load. Alright, and that dude up there is dead as well. Yeah, none of these people that I've killed yet are admins or any of that. They're just normal players like me. Right, I'm sure he had a maple strike though. We'll open our vault, we'll put the maple strike straight in our vault. So that if we die, we will still have a maple strike. There's another loop pile over here. Yeah, just an ace kit. I have no idea where they're shooting from. Right, that base has a generator inside. Oh wait, I saw him. He's up on that base. He's up on the roof of the brick base. The closest one. And he's shooting me. And I am the... Oh yeah, it's an admin. Alright, well, there goes our Heartbreaker kit. But it's fine, we still have ourselves the Maple Strike, which is obviously better than a Heartbreaker. And since I'm at home and I'm gonna loot home and maybe we get ourselves easy rocket launchers. I doubt it, but who knows. Alright, so I am back in base. Now, the important thing is that I got myself a Blowtorch. It is currently in my vault. I got myself a Metamora's box as well, which is pretty nice. A Zubeknikov. But I will be doing a ton of lockers. Right, I got myself three lockers, which is pretty good. Yeah, none of the loot despawned as well. It's all still here. We'll put the items in these lockers and we will go out there. I'm not gonna go to an Elise pack once again. Even though we already have two. We'll put the remaining bars in here as well. Put some ammo. And here we go. Well, there is like a team of three right in front of me. I'm gonna push. I killed two, one of them's a legend. I don't know where the third dude went. Alright, let's open our vault. We got ourselves two maple strikes, at least back a bunch of blood bags, a billion drums. Is that it? Is that all the legend had? I'm getting shot at. Alright, there's a billion dressings here, so let's just pick them up and we're home. I had to home, man, there's no way I was staying there. I was hearing so much guns over there, I was hearing devil's banes. Maple strikes, heartbreakers, all kinds of guns. And then they just had two maples. But obviously, it's still fine. I mean, we still made it out of there alive. Get yourself some insane loot. Well, I am dead. The admin has lasered me down. All right, well, I'm going to use Kit Nitrate there then. Now we have 30 minutes that we can use this kit again. If I do die now, I'm going to be very, very upset. But I am not going to try to kill these admins just yet. They are only going to be roof camping. I'm going to try to go around the map, try to find other potential PvP areas maybe we'll find ourselves a live base or something like that yeah it seems like there are three brick bases and on each of these brick bases there's people roof camping and killing each other i think that's all these guys do all day to be honest ouch well i am almost dead i have no idea from where i got shot yeah there's people on top of that base i hit him a couple of times i have no idea how he is not dead he's up there and i'm dead oh dragon thing well, this is gonna be a problem because I don't have a nitrate or a heartbreaker kit available right now. There's a lot of maple strike shots as well. Bro, I can't type anything. I have an empty vault, bro. Okay, well, I don't think this is gonna go too well. We got ourselves a viper kit. Let's go. All right, so something that I have noticed while playing on these servers is that a lot of the admins, they usually run with shift F7. I think I did mention this earlier, where basically they would know exactly where you are. It's like legit having legal wall hacks in Unturned. I hear voices very close. Yeah, there's somebody talking in this base. Yeah, they're raiding up in this base. Well, the zombie dropped a lot of s knives, so maybe we can make plates. And I made a door. Yeah, it's not claimed. Good. Right, I'm gonna wait. Now we place it. Let's salvage it. Oh, they have PW. Bro, oh, it takes so long to salvage, man. Oh, there's multiple people. Oh, Metamoris. Bro, I'm gonna need a lot of plates to actually get up there. Oh, he fell off. One of them did fall off. Hopefully he did not see me. Maybe we could go try to kill him. Yeah, he's gonna loot. Holman. Oh yeah, let's go try to kill him. Instead of trying to go up there, let's kill this dude. Probably has raiding gear on him as well. I have no idea. Yeah, he probably dropped down. Yeah, he's down in here. And he is dead. Okay, yeah. Maple Strike PDW, Metamores. Alright, and let's home. And we got ourselves some raiding gear. Let's go. We got ourselves a PDW. I really like the PDW, but I am not going to use it because I'm scared that I would lose it. And that dude had literally no clothes on him. Right, and we are back over here. Back where the admins all are. And there are people here. There's a guy here. Oh, that's a cow. Okay, I thought that was a person. Oh, yeah, he has nitrate there. I am going to die from zombies, but thankfully slash home is instant. Let's go. We got ourselves two chainsaws as well. And the uh, peacemaker. I need to make myself some more storage because we literally have nothing. So let me go out there and get myself some more metal. Or there's a guy on the hill. Wait, did he not see me? Oh, no. Yeah, he definitely did. It's an admin. Let's go. I'm gonna go back. Get ourselves a maple strike and a drum. I don't think I've killed a single admin yet. I've killed a legend, but I don't think I've killed a single admin. There's a dude right over there. 
And there's another guy spawning as well. Hold on, let's kill this dude first. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, I've killed another legend. And this dude... Oh, Echo. Alright, and nail gun magazines. They're very normal. Well, the Echo is going straight in my vault. A bunch of magazines for it as well. Right, this dude may have killed an admin and was running around with his kit. Now let's check out what the legend had. An AUG and a bunch of drums. Okay. Bro, look at the amount of drums he has. He has like 10,000 shots over there. Now we are back in base. Let's salvage the chainsaw so we can make ourselves another locker. We can even salvage these Spec Ops clothes. I know they're better than military, but odds are I'm going to die either way. There's a dude there. Oh, another legend. Alright, yeah, we're starting to kill legends now. Only if we could start killing admins, man. God knows what kind of loot those guys have. This dude has absolutely nothing. He just has a Spec Ops outfit. Nice. Uh, there is a guy right here. Hello. Yeah, we gotta kill him. Silence. So people wouldn't actually hear us. Because we are entering dangerous territory over here. Even though they haven't shot in a while. I don't know. Oh, well, I saw a guy. And I think he saw me as well. Well, this could be bad. If it's an admin with an F7, I am definitely going to die. Oh, he's dead. And it is an admin. Alright. Yeah, this dude has been killing everyone. I've seen his name so much. Right, anything insane? Yeah. PW make pull strike, night vision, a billion muzzles for some reason. We are back in base. Let's go. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna stay around there, man. If it's an admin, he has a base there. Alright, we need a blowtorch so I can make myself some, some bars. Where's my blowtorch? Oh, it's in my vault. Alright, we kinda make ourselves another locker. Let's go. Our one by one, ladies and gentlemen, is starting to get stacked from PvP. Alright, well, here's the situation. An airdrop landed in the middle of the air. An admin is trying to get it, and... Yeah. There was a third dude between us. He was literally in the middle. This dude is dead. He's stacked, actually. Two maple strikes, a bunch of drums, a bunch of blood bags. If I had the airdrop is over there, I'm not gonna bother to get it. If I do try to get it, I'm going to die, 100%. So I'm gonna loot the admin that I have just killed. This guy has killed me over and over as well, by the way. He only has a maple strike. Yeah, where I will back. That's the thing about these kind of servers, man. You only get guns when you kill people. Nobody actually goes to loot. This is what a PvP server is nowadays. I mean, especially if you're admin, you don't need to loot. You can just spawn them in. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I put myself a maple strike and some drums in my vault. I'm going to suicide, and yeah, this is exactly where I wanted to spawn. I wanted to spawn either next to Homan or next to Confed so that I could go loot those areas. Maybe there are people over there. That's a non-admin, it's like a normal player. So we're gonna go loot Confederation. Maybe a Mega Zombie as well. That would be actually really good. On a high times loot server, we would be able to get ourselves some raiding gear. Maybe a Dragon Fang or a Detonator. If there's nobody there and there's no Mega Zombie, then we'll go straight to Homan or we'll go back to base. It depends. And there actually is a guy. He's in the. He's chilling over there. Yeah, he's dead. He had a Heartbreaker. So he put the Heartbreaker kit. A maple strike as well. Alright, let's get rid of the zombies. The zombie dropped a maple as well. Alright, he's dead. Yeah, full military. There's a raw explosive over here. Perfect. There is no mega zombie, unfortunately. But what is that? Alright, well, nothing that good. Well, I just saw a duo land all the way over there. We're gonna try to go behind them and backstab them. Now, I don't know if that duo that was raiding earlier is still there. It could be them for all I know. I don't know. But I will try to sneak up on them. Kill them. They seemed geared as well, so we'll give this a try. Oh yeah, I see him. Okay, I think they placed the bed. I'm not gonna shoot it down, because they would realize. And even if I do break it with my melee, they would realize, because it tells them that the bed has been destroyed. So they would know about me. He's literally right over there. They don't know about me, which is exactly how I want to keep it for now. I want them to be right next to each other, so I could easily laze... Wait, what's going on? Wait. Oh, they're killing each other. Yeah, I am so confused. Wait, I think they're friends. Alright, let's try to get a bit closer then. Alright, if I have myself a shot on one of them, I will kill him. Yeah, one of them is looting. The other dude is back there. Alright, one guy dead. Other dude is in a heli. Hold on. Alright, heli dude dead as well. Right, so now they will come back. They do have that bed. Let me just take out their loot. This dude, maple strike. Another maple. So much maple strikes, man. Jesus. Alright, and the first dude. Oh, damn, he seems geared. Oh, yeah, night traders are back. Two Yoris, Elise back, Peacemaker, Drums. Now we got ourselves a bunch of guns, which is pretty nice. Especially a fully ducked out Subaknikov. Yeah, my vault is full as well. I mean, he went back inside the plane, okay. Alright, he's dead. Did he come back with another kit? Hey, yeah, sure did. He came back with the Night Raider kit. W, let's go. Alright, maybe now we should go and destroy the bed. Yeah, let's destroy the bed. He's right over there. Right, let's reload. Run out of ammo. He's dead. Alright, let's go. Easy loot. Well, alright boys, that's going to be it for this video. I really hope that you guys did enjoy. If you guys do want more type of videos like these in the future, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.